Uh, please be seated. Um, of the Nyeri National Polytechnic Governing Council, Dr. David Gachuru, the Chief Principal, Mr. Mwangi, members of the Nyeri National Polytechnic Governing Council, development partners, parents, guardians, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies, and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm Jambo. God is good. And all the time. Ni salimia ni kuhayo bwana Yesu asifiwe. Happy Easter. Asante sana. Let me read a few things that are written here as deputy president. Alafu ni sema machache kama rigiji. Ile kutoka kwa roho. I'm delighted to be part of this fourth graduation of Nyeri National Polytechnic. It is inspiring to witness 4,823 graduates receive the prize of their hard work. Now they can venture out there to change the world. Our President, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, who kidded the TV at 100 flame at this very institution a few days ago, sends his congratulations and best wishes. We mark 100 years of Tibet institutions when the Ruto administration is implementing the Kenya Kwanzaa plan for socio-economic transformation. Development demands unique skills and competencies. This in turn requires us to continuously reform, restructure, and align our education system to offer labor market responsive education and skills. In the ongoing radical reforms in the educational sector, we have considered prior learning. It is an inclusive way of bringing on board experts who lack the paper to validate their knowledge and skills. Indeed, last month, we unveiled a recognition of prior learning policy framework alongside the passing out of the first cohort of 900 graduates. Some were from this great national polytechnic here in Nyeri, the county of my mother. I note that the Nyeri National Polytechnic has put in place the necessary frameworks for accreditation as a qualifications awarding institution of recognition of prior learning. For this reason, we call upon the Juakali Artisan in this great county and elsewhere to apply to this institution and receive certification. We extend this to all other artisans across the country to validate their skills and experience improved employability. In expanding learning opportunities through the open distance and e-learning, it is commendable that the intelligent digital technologies into manufacturing. This is key in the of the Presidential Working Party reforms. Tertiary institutions priority in driving the bottom-up economic transformation agenda for inclusive growth. Our administration fully understands the transformative potential of TVET up to the grassroots. That is why we are expanding them in our target of at least one TVET in all the 1,450 1, wards across our country. With an allocation of up to 28.3 billion Kenya shillings for TVETs, 
we are investing in improved facilities for quality learning, especially in practical skills. In the 2024-2025 financial year, we expect to have completed 16 new TVETs, which will complement the 24 national polytechnics and 272 technical and vocational colleges. This has been followed by recruitment of over 2,000 tutors as we target to reach 4,000. We are making quality tertiary education accessible at the grassroots as one of the sustainable strategies of empowering our youth to contribute to nation building. Already, we have development partners who are ready to equip these learning institutions, further propelling our desire to not only produce quality labor for the local, but also the international market. Exports from coffee, tea, avocados, and other subsectors in which we are implementing reforms are on the rise. The quality export of labor from our country is bridging the gaps in other countries, hence the need to sustain the supply through improved institutions. This will further strengthen foreign remittances alongside export earnings to improve our foreign currency. Indeed, a strong export portfolio of our country means a very stable economy. It is encouraging that already students of this polytechnic are learning from the digital jobs. It is therefore my trust that this fourth graduation will inspire and make Nyeri National Polytechnic one of the very best in the country. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Ezekiel Machogu, the Principal Secretary for TV, Dr. Esther Moria, who was also my colleague at the University of Nairobi those many years back. And I used to defeat her in English. <laughs> Tibet principals, partners, and other education sector actors for their commitment to transforming these institutions to centers of excellence. To the graduates, hearty congratulations on your graduation. You have been approved and certified to be game changers. Go out there and do exactly that and change the game and change the world. But remember, a market that is not always sharpened gets rusty. So you must continue to improve. If you are a certificate holder, go for a diploma. If you are a diploma, go for a degree. Once you get a degree, go for a master's and then go for a PhD. And don't ask me why I'm not doing the same. I'm just too busy. And uh, when I get time, I'll join you in trying to improve. The graduation today is not the end. This is the beginning of academic excellence. You must update your knowledge and skills to remain relevant and productive. Asante Nisana, thank you very much. Mimi nafurai sana nikiwa hapa nyumbani. This great county of Nyeri, the land of heroes, the land of Field Marshal Dedan Kemadi Washuri, the land of the third president of the Republic of Kenya, Mzee Mwai Kibaki, the land of Professor Wangari Mathai, the land of Field Marshal Mukami Kemadi, the land of Field Marshal Mudoni Kirema, the land of the brave and the courageous. And when we are here witnessing this great achievement, as a proud son of this great county, I feel very elated. The Chief Principal, Mr. Mwangi, and your team, Nasema Asante. You have provided great leadership in this institution. And I'm following up very closely what you are doing here. 
because again this is home i make it my business to check what happens at home because as they say charity begins where and east or west i want to say that the graduates here and the other students you are the present and the future of this country you are the drivers of our economic development we look upon you to come with your new skills and competencies your youthfulness your agility to transform our great country. President William Ruto, my boss, has embarked on great economic transformation of this great republic. And the president cannot succeed alone. We need you to come and lend a hand. Through the program of affordable housing, the skills and competencies that you have been certified today will come in handy. We need architects, we need quantity surveyors, we need engineers, we need building technologists, we need artisans, electricians, plumbers, painters, carpenters. We depend on you. Kwa hivyo kwa wale wamefuzu leo Najua mumechoka kusoma na BD na kuweka BD But the hard work has just begun Karibuni kwa kiwanja Na pare kwa kiwanja hakuna formula Na hakuna kumbebelezana BD yako diyo itakuokoa You must wake up early The early bird catches the worm you must be men and women of integrity so that when you are given a job, whoever has given you trusts you 100%. I want to invite you because you are young people to start on the right footing by working hard and being men and women of integrity, by being trusted, by being responsible for whatever task that lies ahead of you. There are great opportunities in this country for you. In the agricultural sector, in the transport sector, please occupy your rightful And let me advise you as your father, nobody will tell you what to do. You must wake up early and join the rest of us out there kwa kiwanja and for your space. And you are not alone. There are limited and scarce resources that are being sought by everybody. You must be hardworking and you must be aggressive. And once you get it, maintain it, and protect it. That's my advice to you as you graduate, as we wish you well, and welcome you to the job market. Chief Principal, come to the market and take your right of place. Na mimi sitaki ni mudanganye ya kwama maisha hapa inje ni raisi. Maisha hapa ni ngumu kidogo. Na hiyo di ukweli. But you are well prepared. Skills, you have the competencies. Na mutapewa makaratasi leo ya kusema ya kwamba wewe umehitimu na hii kasi unaweza. Tafadhali kujeni kwa kiwanja tujenge taifa letu. The president was here, he has sent his greetings, he is out of the country in Equatorial Guinea, again just trying to make things work for our country.
na mnajua kama yeye ameondoka mimi sasa ndio niko mdosi lakini akirudi mimi narudi nyuma kidogo rais amemsalimia sana na alifurahi He made a commitment of 50 million Kenya shillings to complete your ongoing project. Kali diyo tulete lazima tuchukue kwa mtu fulani. Hakuna pahali. Hakuna pahali hiko store ati uende ufungue utoe pesa ulete. weeks it again the president made a commitment was start in earnest for your agricultural uh, program i will request the governor of nyeri mwalimu kahiga a very progressive governor pale kwetu wa Mbogo Farm ukatia hao sehemu kidogo ya mambo ya ukulima na mambo ya agri Kimathi University and Nyeri National Polytechnic are the pride of Nyeri Simu jinga lazima nifuatilie mambo ya nyumbani so that these two great institutions can make this country proud. Tunataka kusema ya kwamba maoteli yetu hapa ilifungwa karibu yote. Si muko hapa na course ya hospitality. Muko nayo. Tuko na graduates ya hospitality. Tumeshikana wafanyi biashara wa church kutoka hapa nyeri na tumefanya mpango hii hoteli yetu ilikuwa imefungwa ya uspan na ile ya tritop tumenunua inarekebishwa hivi karibuni sitafunguliwa mupate pahali ya kwenda ndio watu ya nyeri wapate biashara na wageni wetu wapate pahali ya kulala ama tumefanya makosa renovations are going on day and night so that our graduates from hospitality can have somewhere to work and visitors coming in Nyeri do not go to sleep in another county. It's a challenge nilipatiwa na wafanyi biashara wakaniambia tunapata aibu kama watu ya Nyeri. Ya kwamba maoteli yetu Green Hills ilifungwa, Outspan ilifungwa, Tree Tops ilifungwa. Tulipata aibu kama viongozi na kama wafanyi biashara. Na kwa hivyo hayo maoteli yetu mawili hivi karibuni tutafungua na tutatoa graduates kutoka hapa Nyeri National Polytechnic kwenda kufanya kazi pale. Maplumbers wataenda kufanya kazi pale watatoka hapa. Electricians watoke hapa. Watu ya rangi watoke hapa. So that we can move our country forward. Mimi niongeleshe nyinyi wale mfuzu na wale wanafuzi mumebaki na wazazi pia. Tuko na vita hapa ya kupigana na dawa za kulevia na pombe haramu. Hii kaunti ya Nyeri na kaunti zetu hapa katika mlima Kenya moja. Karibu tuishe. Karibu tuzame. Vijana wetu wote walikuwa wamepotelea kwa pombe. Walikuwa na kunywa wajijui walala kwa mtaro. Wengine hata wameoa wasichana wa rembo. Wasichana wanala juu ya kitanda, vijana wetu wanala chini ya kitanda. Hiyo maneno tumenyorosha sasa. Tumekuwa wakali na nimeanzia hapa nyumbani na nimekalia hawa account commission na timu yake ninawakalia vibaya tumesema ya kwamba mambo ya kunywa pombe mchana haiwezekani watu wafanye kazi mchana wale wanataka kunywa pombe wa kunywa usiku na wakunywa masaa machache kutoka saa kumi na moja, saa tano, waende wakalale ndio waamuke asubuhi waende kazi tumesema ile pombe mbaya hakuna kuletwa hapa nyeri na kuingeneko katika jamhuri ya Kenya wale wanataka kuuza pombe wauze ile pombe nzuri watu wakunywa masaa ine, masaa tano, waende wakalale ama tumefanya makosa na mimi nimeambiwa sasa mambo imeanza kuwa nzuri 
Wamama wanasema wazee wanafika nyumbani wakiwa na nyama. Samani walikuwa wanakuja wanauliza nyama na hawajanunua. Anakuja amekunywa pombe, "Oh, hii chakula haina nyama na hakuna nyama amenunua." Vijana wameanza kuwa wasafi. So mimi nataka tupambane na muna hiyo. Na sasa vijana na wasichana mufanya kazi yenu. Pombe imeisha. Nataka nikija Disemba nikutane na wasichana wetu wamebeba watoto wakienda sokoni. Si ndio? Nataka nikipita hapo nge, nikipita hapo nge, hapo nge. Si iko namna hiyo? Eh. Hey. Na tufuate Biblia tuongeze dunia. Watoto wajae. Hata mimi nataka kura kwani nitachaguliwa na nani? Mi nataka nikivita hapa nakuta mama amebeba mtoto. Wengine wana kama wanakaa kama leta D wakitembea. Tunajua maneno yuko sawa sawa. Karibu tuishe. Mambo ilikuwa mbaya, si ndio wa mama? Karibu tuishe. Kama jamii tulikuwa hatarini. If we continued the way it was going for another 10 years. This region ya Mount Kenya tungeisha. Tungekuwa hatuna mtu yeyote ni wazee na akina mama wale wamezidi miaka 60 we were losing an entire generation and i want to thank my boss president william ruto for giving providing leadership and giving guidance on a sensitive matter and saying we cannot let people sell poison to our children and i want to assure the president that i professor kindiki ig kome our, pro, our regional and security teams and all our governors, our men and women in uniform will work round the clock to make sure we protect the younger generation. I'm calling upon the Church of Christ. Pia na uliza wa Islamu ninaenda kukutana na hao badaya leo sanane. Pia watusaidie kwa hii vita, Bishop Wanjoi. Hatuwezi fauru peke yetu. We need the support of the church so that we can also mentor our young people and talk to them and also rehabilitate the ones who are already addicted so that we save the next generation. Mimi niseme governor mwalimu kahiga, senator wahome mukami nataka niseme pongezi kwa kueka amani katika county yetu ya nyeri. You have dignified me and the president for keeping peace and being united in this county. Tafadhali muketi, mi natulea nyinyi kwa fia. Lute, the speaker of the county assembly, and the members of the assembly, for allowing the governor to work and supporting him. I also want to thank legislating and enacting the alcoholic drinks bill that will enable us to fight illicit Bruce. tukae na amani juzi nimekuwa pale na watu ya meru njuri njeke meru na waka moto viongozi wanapigana mimi napata hibu nikiwa kiongozi wenu katika mulima kenya pale kiambu kulikuwa na shida tumesuluhisha kumenyamaza kwa hivyo nyeri ikiwa dio headquarter ya central kenya hapa dio regional commissioner anakaa iongoze kwa amani na viongozi kuongea lugha moja na sauti moja dio maendeleo itembee Kwa sababu hali hiko kelele ya kuna maendeleo inaweza fanyika. Muktuko na nafasi ngambo ya nyinyi mumefuzu leo. Mujifudishe lugha za huko zile kali kali. Kijeremani, kichaina kama mutaweza, kijapanis, kiarabu, diyo mambo enu itebesa wa sawa. Ukipata kosi ya electricity, pia ongeza igine kijeremani kidogo. Unakuwa na mbili. Ukiitua pale interview unakoroka kijeremani unapatiwa passport unasonga muende pale mufanya kazi mutume dola hapa nyumbani mukipata wazungu pia muoe mutulete there is no problem wakuja to get nao hapa lakini muambie hao tulifukuza muingereza hapa kwa kutukalia wakija hapa ni mabibi zetu wanyamaze wasikize vile wazee wanasema kwa hivyo mimi nataka nimalizie hapo nikisema the national employment authority i've heard there is a problem with the public portal, I'll engage the CS for labor and social protection to sort it out. Mambo ya police vehicles, 
Yakamakwa and Kabiruini police stations, I'm going to work on it so that we have uh, mobility, so that our officers can be able to do a patrol and protect our people. Again, I want to salute the chief principal for the good job you are doing and for the leadership. Kanyangi abo. Nita kupanga abo mbele ukiendelea vila naendelea. I also want to take this opportunity. President William Ruto is the vision carrier of the TVET program. He knows it like the back of his hand. And I want to confirm that President William Ruto The president is very happy with your job. I'm happy too. All of us are happy. Please to end the Kumbuka kwa maombi. Ware graduates mumefuzu. Tafadhali muede mujaribu na siku ikifika mutakumbuka president wetu pale mbele siku atasema mumsaidie mumkumbuke kwa sababu pia amekuwa hapa akisaidia nyinyi hata mimi nikisema msinisahau pia mimi ni mtoto wenu mtuangalie vizuri mtuchunge vizuri kwa sababu pia sisi tunachunga nyinyi i'll be coming upon a chief principal at the right time to give a public lecture to the remaining students so that we mentor them as young leaders. I was yesterday in Pwani University to give a public lecture on scaling the ladder to leadership on youth and development. The other week I was in Muranga University on the same. I'll also come here and give a public lecture. I'll also go to Kemadi as one of the programs the President and I are doing to mentor our young people. Na kwa hivyo nyinyi wanafunzi nikija siku hiyo tutaongea mambo yetu mnajua mna nikasanga saa ingine leo si siku yenu leo ni siku ya graduates lakini mimi nitakuja kwa lecture alafu tuongee mambo yetu tunaelewana najua swahili wanaelewana na vilemba kuna ile maneno tunaongeaga na nyinyi siku ile nimepitia hapa kwa hivyo nitakuja wazazi mtasalimiana nyumbani wazazi mtasalimiana tuendelee na vita ya pombe ama tuache tuendelee ama tuache Tukaza hii watu tusiwakaze. Na hatuna ubaya. Wale ambao wanafanya biashara halali waendelee. Wale wanauza sumu haiwezekani. And I'm sorry, I want to say nikiwa hapa nyumbani. I've seen a few of my friends from this county wakinitumia message ati tuwafungulie wauze hiyo kitu baya. I'm sorry, I'm unable to honor that friendship. Please allow me for once not to honor that friendship. You cannot sell poison to our children and claim to be my friend. No, hapana. Siwezi kubali. I cannot. County commander, county commissioner, I will never call you and you know. Nikuambia tifungulia vilani, saidia vilani. Mimi hapana hiko hapo. Mungangana na hii watu, wawuze hile kitu mzuri. Wakiona awezekani, wawuze maziwa. Hata uji hiko. Hata dubia hiko. Mutu wakunywa hile kitu ambaye hawezi thuru maisha yake. Please sit down. And I'm happy, Commissioner, you are doing a good job. Please continue. You have my support. You have the support of the President. You have support of Professor Kindiki. You have the support of the government to continue with a good job. Please sit down. Kwa hivyo mimi nime shukuru sana, sana, sana. And with those very many remarks, I wish you well. I wish you God blessings. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. Asanteni sana. Mungu wa bariki na wa bariki sana.